Scott Cobb and Nick Driftwood Green of uh, Driftwood Productions. Hello, guys. Hi. Tell us a bit about uh, your play, which premiered last night. Um, basically, it's a. As you can see, this is the set. Um, thank you, Andy. Um, it's the uh, called the Cock and Tail Inn, um, and it's a comedy set in this bar, the pub itself, um, in the mid 1970s in uh, Somerset, um, Bridgewater. Um, it's about these dysfunctional characters, very stereotyped characters, who um, who drink here, and you learn about their relationships with one another, and how they fall apart, basically, in a nutshell. Um, one of the main characters, uh, called Spider, who's like the stereotype bar fly, he um, dramatically dies, I won't say how, um, early on in the play, and it sets up um, a whole series of events, which... Um, basically revolve around who's going to get his inheritance um, and obviously we start to see people's true colours as they fight over it. Fantastic and it was the premiere last night wasn't it here? Yeah that's correct. At the Ship Hotel and how, how was it received? Very well actually wasn't it? Yeah, yeah really well yeah full house uh, 70 strong. Um, standing got, invasion. Yeah standing invasion lots of laughs um, Lots of uh, good comments, so it, it was good fun. We it did what we set it out to achieve and to entertain, and give so people a good evening. What are your separate roles then? Uh, well, obviously both co in <coughs> this show, um, with a bit more hedged on on John's side because he is the, obviously the playwright um, mm. of the Cock and Tail Inn, uh, and I was obviously doing a lot more production uh, this time round. But um, all in all, we you know we've got a really good team. Um, there's a couple of uh, backroom staff as well have been helping out, and you know, we Driftwood Productions um, for our you know very first theatrical um, release with, with with this show. Um, you know, we're really really pleased with it. You know, since January when we first started writing this and devising, um, and we've been through about what 21 rewrites of this. Probably more than that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> holding it down, holding it down. Uh, we were sort of thinking. You know, is this more TV or a play or something or a radio show? But um, we thought, no, we've got you know, the Brighton Festival Fringe is coming up. Let's let's do it for the Fringe. So, and it gives us a chance also to try it out in a live audience. You know, very much like a you know a sitcom of its day in the seventies, because this is very much a pastiche of all those classic seventies you know sitcoms. Mm. Um, and we thought it'd be a great chance to to get some feedback and then take it from there once this, the, the Fringe is over. And develop it even further, and you know perhaps you know talk to a few producers here and there. We've got uh, a few friends in uh, BBC Land and you know mm -hmm. like, uh, Paramount Comedy Channel into doing something with. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But we're the background of Driftwood is is mainly in film. Mm -hmm. um, we do uh, a lot of shorts, um, local you know um, uh, finance films. Uh, we, we support local playwrights. We work with a tremendous amount of people and actors and. You know, from Brighton and, and the surrounding areas, um, we've got one or two, you know, great films coming out. We've got Driftwood, um, which is like a short uh, collective films of locally inspired, you know, written talent. Um, totally different stories, um, uh, which is going to be really, really good fun for, 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 for uh, people to see. And then we've got also uh, the collective stories of Bertolt Brecht, which um, is from his 1920s sort of classic collective short stories book. Which we we brought into a more sort of contemporary feel. I think people can be really excited by that because mm. they've never been done before on stage or film or whatever. So yeah, we're really excited by it. Just before you give me my double diamond, it's the Fringe's fifth birthday. Have you got a birthday message for the Fringe? Well, we'd just like to say happy birthday, yeah. Brighton Festival. Come and have fringe. a pint in the Cock and Tail Brighton Festival Fringe. <laughs> I drink to that. Cheers. Cheers.